Hi guys, in this tutorial we will be sculpting a realistic neck for our character. So, so far throughout the videos in the series we've been sculpting the, the face and I think we've finally come to the end of actually sculpting the face. I mean we'll come back again just to uh, polish it out and add in even more details but for the most part we've actually finished uh, sculpting the face. So now we can go ahead and sculpt in the neck muscles. So also a little bit of uh, anatomy 101 in this. If you want to know how I already created this basic neck shape over here, I basically took this existing head model and I used the snake hook tool and then I just clicked and dragged out this form over here and then used a combination of the move and also the snake hook tool to sort of shape it out in this kind of a way. We're now going to go ahead and focus mostly on the muscles of the neck. First glance, the neck sort of bends in this shape, like a, a concave kind of a shape. Now, bear in mind that um, the human body, there's pretty much no part of the human body that bends in this concave shape. Almost every part of the body is bends in a convex kind of a shape. So when you do sculpting, always make sure that the, the features of the body are either straight or like convex. So even here, it's not right having this shape because there's, there's muscle underneath, so it always bulge the skin outwards. So it's not possible that you would have like a concave kind of a shape. So that can break the realism of the character and it's also sort of breaking the realism of this, this character as well. So we need to go ahead and give it a, a convex kind of a shape, but actually more realistic is just a neck, so we'll just give it a straight kind of a shape. So we'll go ahead and go to the grab tool and make that little adjustment. Um, also I think the neck... Uh, yeah, that's fine, but we, I think it just needs to be a lot more straighter, like so. And it comes down, and also push this down as well. Okay, so it's effectively a cylinder. Once again, and then we'll just go ahead and, oh, what I'll also do is I'll turn off the uh, smooth shading. It's always better when you're sculpting the turf smooth shading, just so that you can see the forms better. And then I'll... I mean, you don't have to. You don't have to, I just prefer just to work this way. Okay. Another thing I've just noticed, uh, the neck is too long. Um, so we need to pull this entire area uh, down. So what I want to do is I'm just going to mask out this entire area. We'll go to the mask brush. Okay, so what I want to do is I'm just going to move the uh, body up a little bit, because the neck is a little bit too large. So let's just paint this entire area. Okay, and then I'll just simply uh, invert the mask. Oh, sorry, I'll just uh, cut a little bit more area out. Like so. And then simply just go over here and, oops. Go to the grab brush and just move it up. Oh, let's just uh, hit M and cut out these areas. And hit uh, G and move it up. Okay, so let's look at it from the side view. I think that's a lot more realistic. Okay, so let's hit Alt M just to clear out, and then we also have to just use the clay strips brush and then just lightly paint over this area just to smooth it out. Hit S to smooth, and then we'll just smooth these areas out. Uh, so again, we have to go ahead and pull the neck down a little further. Okay, and also from this view, we're going to pull it uh, out. At the back, the neck goes back, but in the front, the neck sort of goes a little front, but down as well. So maybe like that. Okay. We can go down and over here as well. We have something that looks like that. So again, just a basic kind of a cylindrical shape. So let's just round it out over here. Just 
So again, a basic kind of cylindrical shape, but the cylinder sort of goes like this and like this, and don't make it concave. Just try to make it as straight as you can. Move this back. It's okay to make it convex, but not, don't make it concave. All right, cool. So the next shape is starting to look right. So the next thing we want to look at is um, adding in the neck muscles. So the muscles that helps to turn the face from left to right. Just to sound like an anatomy expert, that neck muscle is called the sternocleidomastoid. So that muscle starts from the back of the ear and then goes down and ends where your collarbone starts. Okay, so we can start to actually sculpt that in. So just to make it, uh, this area sort of getting in the way. So let me just pull this down and actually start to have the beginnings of a uh, torso. So pull this out. We'll focus on the torso part in the next tutorial, but I'm just sort of gonna uh, move it out of the way so we can sort of see where it goes. Um, note that uh, this part of the body, there's, there is a little lump that goes downwards. So like an empty part, that's something to keep in mind. Okay, um, so here you generally have your collarbone. So the collarbone is just that this little, uh, this little, oops. The, the collarbone is just this little bone over here that starts like this and it sort of looks like a bike handle like something like that that's your collarbone so the neck muscles would start at the back so let's just lightly sketch that in with our clay strips brush starts at the back of the ear and it would go all the way to the front and end all the way at the beginning of our collarbone, like so. So that is our sternocleidomastoid. So I'm not doing anything fancy here, but I'm just using the clay strips brush. Okay, so that's it. That is a sternocleidomastoid, but obviously it's not so obvious like that. It doesn't stick out in the body that, that clearly. So there is a layer of fat that tends to hide that. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit the S brush to smooth and then just leave that little bit of a, you know, that a little bit of a hint that there is a muscle underneath there. We don't want to make that part obvious. Same with the collarbone. We'll just make it very faint. When you make things faint in the torso, it just tends to make it look just awesome. Okay, so our neck shape is really starting to look nice now, which is great. There is also muscles at the back of the neck. So this is the trapezius muscle, I believe. But I'm not going to focus on the trapezius muscle in this video. I'll save it to the next video where we focus on the torso. So I'll just leave this blank for now. So we also have this little muscle over here called the sternohyoid or something like that. And yeah, the main point is that it sort of sticks out like that. And we also got the Adam's apple. Since this is a male character, we need to add in the Adam's apple. But before I go ahead and do that, I might just accentuate that sternohyoid muscle a little bit by, again, using the clay strips brush and then just drawing in this little bit over here. And once you've done that, just hit S to s smooth everything out. Cool. So it's looking nice. And then now we can just quickly draw in the um, the Adam's apple. So the Adam's apple is simply just a lump, like so. For some men, it's actually a lot bigger than others. So we can actually maybe make this a little bigger. Uh, so with the clay strips brush, I always tend to overdo it. 
I tend to over exaggerate it, but then I use the S brush to smooth everything, and then it, it tends to control everything for me, which is nice. So there we go, we have added the Adam's apple, and I think the neck is now in a good shape. Might just also lightly go in and smooth this. Shift C just to crease it out a little, and then S just to smooth out. Smooth it out a little. Looks like the chin is going abruptly in like this. That can be good if this character is really, really muscular, but um, there is a, generally a layer of fat that tends to hang for male characters as well. So I might as well just grab this and add in a, just a tad bit of fat over here. I move this down a little. Try to create this sort of a ring shape around, just sort of what, what it's like a, a double chin, but not really a double chin, just a, a tad bit of fat. We are creating a muscular character, but I think it's quite um, unnatural to have the character have almost no no fat under there. Again, it's your choice, you probably don't have to do that, but I just want to keep it a, a little bit realistic, if you know what I mean. Okay, so in terms of the neck muscles, I think uh, that's pretty much it. So that's the basics of sculpting a neck using Blender 2.8 and its sculpting tools. In the next video, we'll go ahead and finish off the uh, sculpture by uh, sculpting in a realistic torso and shoulders and the back of the um, and the muscles that are in the back of the body as well. Hope to see you then. Thanks for watching.